Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's Excel tip is on Excel for Finance on continuous compounding. You can download this spreadsheet from ExcelExperts.com. So, in our previous tip, we had a look at compounding, and we saw that if you compound semi annually, the same interest rate, the, r the annual equivalent rate, actually goes up. So what happens when you compound quarterly? Well, it goes up again. Okay. What happens monthly? It goes up again. But notice, it's, it's reaching a ceiling. So increasing the compound frequency will increase the interest rate, but at a decreasing rate, such that when the interest rate is compounded continuously, and here I've slightly cheated by entering 10,000 times as the uh, compounding frequency rather than continuous which is infinite the interest rate is 6.18 percent versus monthly 6.17 so it's getting very very close so between 12 and 10,000 let's try an even bigger number exactly the same so Continuous compounded interest is the limit of the interest rate when the compounding frequency tends towards infinity. We'll see more about continuous compounding later. Very useful in finance to calculate various me measures and uh, the mathematics is a lot easier than other forms of compounding. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com.